Hey, greetings guys. John Deddy here, Slayer Anthrax Testament. Coming to you uh, this week, first week of August, you guys. Oh my God, where's the time going? Uh, Tuesday tip. And uh, this week's tip is actually going to be on uh, using the double bass as a drum fill. Okay, uh, something a lot of you guys have asked me about, so this, I'm, I'm doing these tips for you guys, and uh, so let's, let's dive in and uh, show you how to do some double bass uh, drum fills. So, the first example I'm going to show you is, um, I'm just going to do a simple basic thrash beat, and when I come into the kick drums uh, for a double bass fill, uh, it's just going to be, again, just single, you know, if you're right-handed, right, left, right, left. If you're left-handed, left, right, left, right. Uh, I'm going to do everything in fours for this example. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a double bass fill uh, for, uh, and it's going to go one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Who came up with this counting stuff? Who came up with one e and a? Okay, so... If you remember me talking about accenting, the accenting that we're doing, like with the drum fills, right? Very important to note, we're not accenting with the kick drums, okay? Um, maybe I'll get into accenting certain things at, at a different time, but for this example, and for many examples, probably 99% of all big four drumming, these guys are gonna be identical. We create the accenting with these guys right here, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. So if you're right-handed, right, left, right, left. If I'm doing this, every hit should sound identical. If you're left-handed, like me, the right way, <laughs> then it's gonna be left, right, left, right. Again, whether you're right-handed or left-handed, if somebody's going like this, covering their eyes, it should just sound identical. I should not be able to know which is your stronger, more dominant foot. Because the goal with these is to not have a dominant foot. And uh, so again, we're going to create the accenting with uh, up top, okay? So this example, again, I'm gonna do just a straight uh, basic thrash beat, and then I'm gonna come into a, a fill, and I think I'm, what I'm gonna do for this one, I think I'm actually gonna choke the cymbal uh, for the accent, and I'm just gonna do the, the cymbal hit on the one, two, three, four, okay? So uh, it's gonna, the double bass is going to be, okay, and up top I'm just going to be going pretty sure I'm going to use that symbol for this example. So uh, anyway, let me, let me just uh, demonstrate, see if, this, see if this makes sense, okay? So I'm just going to pick a tempo. Again, do a tempo that's good for you. No right or wrong answer here, guys, okay? Here we go. counting pretty straightforward but it makes a nice dynamic uh, throwing it into a song uh, as opposed to you know it just mixes it up a little bit from using your your, your toms so uh, that would be one example uh, now to change that that accenting dynamic up again I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the feet and this one I'm going to do I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit a snare and cymbal together on this one. And I'm gonna do that for a count of two. And then on the three and the four, I'll probably throw in some sort of quad fill with the, with the uh, snare drum. And again, I'm just coming up with ideas here, okay? And that's the best part about this. There's no right or wrong. Uh, just look at what I'm doing and then, and then start getting your mind working to go, oh, okay, I'm gonna try something like that here. You may decide to go on the tom. You may decide to use the ride symbol for, for what I'm about to do. So uh, here we go. Let's try this one out. Same, uh, I'm gonna use the same uh, basic thrash beat to start this one off. Okay. All right. 
another example. Now, did you catch how I moved the, the kick drums uh, back and forth between uh, on the simple uh, basic thrash beat? Again, go to my previous tips, distributing energy. Uh, I know there's probably a lot of drum teachers out there going, oh my God, what is he doing? No, that's incorrect. Is it now? Is it now? Okay, well, it's worked out pretty good for me and I'm gonna keep doing it. So, uh, whether it's your left or right in single kicks, again, we're distributing energy. Look at it on another tip. But uh, uh, again, if that's too fast for some of you guys, just bring the tempo back and, uh, and try it at a tempo that's comfortable for you, okay? Uh, for you speed guys out there, especially you guys that don't like how I set my pedals up and you wanna rely on the triggers and, and have a whole different technique, that may open up some doors for you to try some some cool shit out there as well. So uh, I'm going to do one more example here, you guys. And this is actually going to be, hmm, this will actually be a triplet feel. But this is one of those, uh, It's I'm going to use a Slayer song as an example. This is going to be a Paul song, actually. And, uh, but unlike... 99% of the Slayer fills that have an accent on the top here, it's a different feel and this does not have accenting where one hit is louder than the other. All the hits are gonna be actually, for this example, identical, okay? So a triplet, obviously, if I'm gonna use accents here real quick just to demonstrate a triplet. If I don't put those accents in, you just have to know where I come out, right? And that's what's going to happen in this uh, example that I'm going to do right now. So the example I'm going to do is the song Disciple. The very end of the song, uh, it goes into kind of a more groove breakdown. And this is a fill that I actually, that I created and put in when we played uh, this song live. So uh, Paul keeps it up top with the hands and I just decided to throw some double bass in on this to uh, yeah, it just it just felt right you know why not so uh, so I'm gonna do the fill and again it's it's a it's it's a double bass fill and a triplet uh, it'll be triplets again you're not gonna hear the uh, there's no accenting here there's no dot da 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 it's gonna be da 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 and uh, what I'm gonna do is when I do the triplet bass fill, I'm actually gonna use, I'm gonna be hitting the same hits pretty much up on the cymbals as well. So uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna play pretty much the whole, yeah, screw it. I'm gonna play the whole ending of that breakdown part that I'm talking about. So you see what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. Uh, let's do some air guitar jam, you guys. So dun 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 Played that in a while, but you get the idea. Did you guys hear the fill that I did in there? There it is again. I'm just gonna do it. Explosive part. It's really I love that that breakdown by the way. It's an explosive part. The and it's just 
but it's actually by everything being the same volume, but using the symbols in a, in a way it is dynamic, right? So it's just a subtle little thing I dropped in there as opposed to just keeping it on the hands all the way through. And uh, again, these are just, uh, just come up with ideas, you guys, as, as, you're, uh, as you're playing stuff. And, and, you know, and hopefully this helps you out. And uh, again, tempo, it could be your own song that you're creating, or maybe there's a song that you're listening to that you're uh, trying to perform as well. Maybe you're trying to listen to some of these big four songs and you're playing along to them, and you wanna try creating some different stuff in there, just like I did. So anyway, hope this helps you guys. Until next Tuesday, uh, Drop your comments in the uh, comments below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Follow me on Instagram, by the way. I post every day on Instagram, and uh, you can see what I'm doing day to day so that I, uh, I start to uh, be the best that I can be on this for you guys, okay? So uh, anyway, until next Tuesday, you guys.